The class action lawsuit rocking women's college sports. A group of current and former elite athletes say that allowing swimmer Leah Thomas, a transgender woman, to compete in the national championships in 2022 violated their Title IX rights. Zareen Shah is here in L.A. with the details. Zareen, good morning. Wit Riley Gaines is leading this lawsuit. She lost a fifth place trophy two years ago to a transgender athlete. She says this development was due time and that the NCAA has been served. But the big question is what change, if any, will the sports world see? This morning, former University of Kentucky swimmer Riley Gaines and more than a dozen athletes suing the NCAA, saying the organization's 2022 ruling that allows transgender athletes to compete in women's sports is in violation of Title IX. A lot of people ask us, why did we wait this long to file a lawsuit? Well, we waited this long to allow the NCAA every opportunity to make the right decision. The lawsuit detailing an incident at the NCAA National Championship weeks after that ruling, where Gaines tied for fifth place with Leah Thomas, a trans swimmer who had previously competed in the men's category. The complaint alleges that only Thomas would be allowed to hold a fifth place trophy, also stating that the secret of Thomas's meteoric ascendance and dominance in NCAA women's swimming was retained male advantage. Athletes Caitlin Wheeler and Ainsley Erzin joining the lawsuit. We're not asking for anything extra. We're not asking for anything special. We're just asking for the NCAA to really do the bare minimum and protect us, whether that be in our locker rooms, on the track, on the field, on the court. Title IX is part of a federal civil rights law that prohibits discrimination based on sex at any institution that receives federal funding. While the NCAA will not comment on pending litigation, they tell ABC News in a statement they will continue to promote Title IX, make unprecedented investments in women's sports, and ensure fair competition in all NCAA championships. This case can really bring a challenge to what is defined legally as a woman. Leah Thomas will capture the win in the 200-yard freestyle. Leah Thomas is not commenting on the current lawsuit, but in 2022, the University of Pennsylvania swimmer sat down with ABC's Juju Chang. There would be scrutiny against me if I uh, competed as a woman. Um, I was prepared for that. But I also don't need anybody's permission to be um, myself and to, to do the sport that I love. Advocacy group athlete ally says they appreciate that the NCAA is pausing and reassessing. They say they firmly believe that research shows that transgender athletes do not have an inherent advantage in sports and they add they should not just be accepted but celebrated. Janae. All right. Thank you for that, Doreen. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.